Oh, there we are, guys. Just look how grand that looks. That looks amazing. Hi, guys. How you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today, a real simple comfort food pie. We're going to make cheese and onion potato pie. Now when we say potato, it's mashed potato inside the pie with the cheese and onion. So you get this lovely filling inside a buttery crust homemade pastry. Delicious guys, let's show you how to do this. A quick run through the ingredients and then we'll crack on. Right guys, this is so simple. We've got a kilo of potatoes, we've got a small onion. Now, this is the tops of some green onion or spring onion okay i've just got it from the garden actually but it puts a little bit of a green fleck inside the pie because if not we're just going to have this yellowy color in there so we get that green fleck in there by chopping that smaller we got some cheese the cheese of your choice i'm using cheddar because that's what i've got we have some ready made homemade rich pastry now there's a link on the channel up here or up there in the description of how to make the pastry. Um, you know, very easy and this is a delicious pastry. We have one egg, which we're going to use as an egg wash, a pinch of salt and some pinch of black pepper for seasoning. Now you can use white pepper, not a problem. So that's our ingredients, potato, onion, green onion, egg, for an egg wash, cheese, pastry, salt and pepper. Let's get on with it. Right guys, first job, peel, dice up our potatoes and get them on in a, a pan of boiling salted water. So that's the first job, peel and dice our potatoes. Now, I'm not going to dictate what potatoes, you know, to use for mashing. That's up to you. I can only use what I get. You know, I can't say, oh, Maris Piper, this, that and the other, okay? I use the potatoes I've got all the time. I don't name anything. You know, I'm not one of these, you're not one of these TV chefs that have got everybody going out getting everything for them. It just doesn't happen. Okay, there's our potatoes peeled. Now we just want to dice them up and we want to add them to a pan. Now you don't have to be so pre precise in cutting your potatoes. That's up to you guys. All we need to do is get our potatoes on and mash in. That's our potatoes in the pan guys. All we need to do now is bring the level of water to the top of the pan. We might swap this out of this pan actually, it might be too small. So while we're here at the board we might as well chop our onion or dice our onion. Now we're going to dice this into small dices guys, okay? Okay, onion down the middle now I don't hold with all this parallel cut okay the chef's on there and I posted to a chef the other day saying there's no need for a parallel cut and I got all sorts of gumph back okay saying oh you need to do that because it opens up the flavor and it's you got an even cut and all the rest of it listen the onion is in segments it doesn't matter how you cut this onion you do not need that stupid, dangerous parallel cut back towards your hand. Okay, so 
you can either cut it all the way through like this not a problem and then you can and what is wrong with that that is cut and all those pieces are virtually the same now what we're going to do with this onion guys we're going to actually boil this just take a little bit of that rawness out now I've seen people cook, cook it with butter and all sorts of things but you know it's a cheese and onion pie and it's got to have some onion flavor in there but we don't want that harsh, harshness of the onion so we'll boil this in a little bit of water for about five minutes now it's not going to go overly soft by any means it's still going to retain that crunch but it's going to take all that acidity acid off that onion and lose some of that really strong flavor because we want a nice cheese and onion filling okay all we need to do now is put our potatoes on to boil guys i'm actually going to swap out the potatoes to a bigger pan so my potatoes are going in there in with a pinch of salt flame on and we need to bring that up to a boil as soon as we get it to a boil start a timer or count down about 15 minutes check your potatoes now we don't want to go to mush we want a bit of texture when we mash okay guys now these potatoes come up to a boil a quick look at the pan i'm using for my pie I've got one of these pa uh, pan dishes, you know. Now you can use one which has the bottom that comes out, which is easy to take out, but I've got this uh, pie dish today, you know, and it's about, so we've got about an inch on there, and it's about eight inches across. Now it is a non-stick pan, but you know can we take heed of it being non-stick i'm not sure so what i'm going to do i'm just going to butter it out now you can use shortening or butter anything up to you butter it out put it to one side so that's what i'm going to do with this pan potatoes coming up to the boil guys set your timer about 15 minutes tops no more than that you know it could even be less all we're going to do is we're going to check our potatoes with a fork and if the fork starts to go in the potato they're done we don't not want mushy potatoes okay guys our potatoes have been boiling for about 14 minutes actually and look you can see they take a fork really well so they need turning off okay that's our potatoes done now for mashing my potatoes i'm going to use a potato now for mashing my potatoes i'm going to use a potato ricer now you can use whatever you want we just need to mash the potatoes you know you can use a fork or use a potato masher you know but i find that the potato rice is the best option for my use you know you just put the potato in squash down the handle and out comes your mashed potato so like i say guys up to you all we need to do is drain these potatoes what we'll do guys when we drain these potatoes we'll actually take some of the potato water put it in a pan and add our onion to it okay there's our potato water in our pan so turn on the flame now we don't have to go bananas with this all we're going to do is add our onions to the water Now, like I say, guys, we're only cooking it this way just to take that little bit of acidity and that sharp onion taste off there. You know, just quickly boil it up. When it gets to a boil, cook it for about a minute, take it off. No more. We want that crunch in the onions, but we don't want that really strong onion flavor. that's it guys turn off the flame onions done we don't want to overcook these we don't want them to go soft we just want to get rid of that harshness all we need to do now 
All we need to do now, guys, is drain those onions. So drain your onions. Now we're draining the onions guys obviously because we don't want to put all that onion water in our mashed potatoes. You know, there's no point putting all that wet fluid in there. Don't forget your cheese, you know, your cheese is oily. It's going to leak a fluid in there anyway. So we don't need to add any more. So put the onions to one side and let them drain. Let's crack on and mash our potatoes. So like I say, I'm using a potato ricer. And if you haven't seen one before, it's a bit of a gizmo thing looking like that. You put the potatoes in there and you squash it through. Brilliant. Okay, so add our potatoes in there. Put down the top and give it a squeeze. Oh, perfect. Mashed potatoes every time. So do that with all your potatoes. You know, all we need to do now is let that go cool. You know, we don't want to be adding cheese to this because it will uh, melt very quickly, you know, and it'll be like mush. So let that cool down. Okay, a little flouring on there. And then we take our pastry and put our pastry on there. Right guys, this pastry is my favourite pastry. But this is what we've been using. This is all the re-rolls because you can keep using it. So get your pastry rolled out. That should do it I think, there's enough pastry there to cover that. Right, what we need to do is we need to take our pastry off there. Now it's just easier to roll it in half, you know. Put our tin down, fold it back over. Fold it back over your pie dish. And then just fold it in, guys. You know, not hard, just lift up, push down gently. Try and get it all into the bottom if possible. Now, it is a fairly easy job, really, you know. Now, if you've got long fingernails, like some of my lady friends, take off some pastry, push down. You know, don't dig your nails through the pastry. As easy as that. And then you get all into the, into the bottom, into the corner. If you can call it a corner on a round tin. But you get all into the bottom of the side. Like that. So there's our pastry base. Now we want to trim this. Now I've got a decent overhang here, so... Now you can either use the blade of a knife or you can use the back of the knife. It will still trim. So trim that off there. And you see, that's the blade, this is the back. Now the reason for using the back, we're not scratching all the side of our nonstick tin. And there's our pastry base already done. Now, will there be enough pastry there for the top? I reckon. I'll put that to one side. Bit of flour on there. 
our trimmings from there that should be enough I reckon if it's going to stick a little bit of flour on your rolling pin roll it out that should be fine so what you can do you can roll it up in preparation already fold it onto your rolling pin now that's ready to go okay all we need to do now is put that to one side whilst we do the filling so let's just push that to one side put our pastry case over there take our mashed potatoes guys and to our mashed potatoes you know you want a pinch of salt in there so we get a pinch of salt in nice and easy and then what we're going to do we're going to put in some black pepper now this is freshly ground black pepper but I, I have it in a tub it's just easier for me to use in with our onions get our onions in there okay guys and then in with our finely chopped onion tops now that's going to give us a little bit of a green fleck through there that's all it's there for just a little bit of color so let's give this a mashing first just bring all this in before we add our cheese right we need to add our cheese add our cheese oh there's quite a lot here maybe should have gone for a bigger bowl <laughs> right now I've got this as well guys it's called grated parmesan I call it shake and vac parmesan and we want about a quarter of a cup of this in there you know you don't have to use it it's optional but it will give that really sharp cheesy flavor in our pie so there's about a quarter of a cup of parmesan right guys mix in right that's enough get that in there little taste test take some taste it salty enough salty enough right guys before we go any further what we need to do is prick the bottom of this pie dish so just go around a few pricks in there with a fork that will help the bottom cook now don't worry about anything coming out it's not going to come out okay and then in with our cheese and onion mixture guys boom in it goes squash it in get it right in there you know we're making a cheese and onion pie make sure it's all in squash it right down guys get it in there try and level it out as much as you can there we have it guys that is our filling in our pie dish now what we need to do is crack and beat an egg you know we want an egg wash so crack and beat an egg so there's our egg give it a bit of beating in there let's move that out of the way Now you can use egg and milk or you can use milk we're going to go for egg today we're going to go for that darker sheen right bit of egg and we're going to go around the outside of our pie before we put the top on this is our glue now you don't have to go two bananas with this you know we don't want it to be over wet we just want our pastry to stick there we go let's put that to one side making a right mess here look then all we need to do now is take our pastry top put it over the top not quite like that just edge it up a little bit there we go now what you need to do now guys just gently come round the outside and push the top down 
you know we want that to stick to that base pastry and then what we're going to do is the old finger and thumb and crimp the pastry now I'm coming this way around because I want to put a fancy edge on my pastry now you don't have to come this way around you go the other way but I want to put a tour on the end of this pastry for a change right guys and as with all pastry we need to trim off I can find my knife oh there it is okay so we want to be trimming our pastry off there back of the knife boom trim how good does that look egg wash guys nice little egg wash all over our pastry you know your oven is preheated to 190 degrees and then what we need to do we need to take a fork and we need to put some air holes in okay so just go around in a nice pretty pattern there's our pie in the oven guys 190 degrees for about 30 minutes you know don't forget the internal um, mixture is already cooked oh there we are guys just look how grand that looks that looks amazing we can't do anything with it now guys it's too hot it's absolutely boiling so we'll let it cool down a bit and then we'll come back and give it a slice oh anyone for cheese and onion pie that is absolutely awesome that is a real comfort food pie guys you know serve that up with baked beans awesome Be serve this up with baked beans and chips fantastic meal guys if you like what we're doing don't forget hit that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video mm.